Thank you kindly, Velka. Coming right on back. I don't particularly care to be in the nest anymore. Uh, let's... Whoop! I'm alive. Somehow. By some miracle. Okay, well. Welcome back. Um. Ow. First off, I fell a great distance and that hurt. Secondly, need to figure out where we're going. Well, I see you made it out. Yeah. I made it out safely too. I have my pyromancy of the Great Swamp, so I can usually manage with a bit of care. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I can share my spells with you. I think you have a knack for it, all you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, uh, unless you find the magics unsavory. Yeah, wonderful. I do not I'm find it unsavory. Uh, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Well, let's get started right now. Okay, so this guy's pretty cool, especially if you're already a Pyromancer. Because you can upgrade your Pyromancer stuff. If you're not a Pyromancer, he'll give you a Pyromancy Flame. I do want to get some more Pyromancies. You can get another Fireball if you want more of those. A lot of people use Combustion. I'm not a fan. What is Fire Orb? Improve upon Fireball. Flaming fire orb explodes upon impact, causing fire splash damage in a spectacle, which seems to symbolize the strength of the fire manipulating pyromancers. So we're going to want the fire orb. I'm not a fan of combustion. I know a lot of people like it, but it's like melee pyromancy, and I don't really like that. Uh, we definitely want to pick up iron flash and flash sweat. May as well pick up another fireball. Uh, we're, what, almost 4,000 souls, so let's just buy it all. And we need 10,000 when we come back. We can uh, modify our Pyromancy Flame, which does make it a little bit better, I believe. All it costs is souls. And what do you got to say? Pyromancy is the art of casting fire. Produce flame, then channel it, just as our ancestors did. A Pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day. It only takes time. Pyromancy has a, well, rather primitive aspect to it. It meshes poorly with advanced culture, and pyromancers are considered rather unsavory, which is fine, as I never got along with anybody anyway. So, for me, Turning undead didn't change a thing. <laughs> Fair enough. A pyromancer's flame is, is a part of his own body. The flame develops right along with his skill. Oh, sorry, Uncle. You're a pyromancer yourself. You, you already know this. I do know this, but I still like to hear about it. A pyromancer's flame is... Oh, Goodbye, then. Come back. I will come back if I find anything new. Mm -hmm. Okay. Repair the broadsword and the kite shield and the armor. Attune to this slot. Another fireball. You see, we have 16 fireballs to work with now. That is going to be very helpful. And a Pyromancy Flame plus one, which does more damage. So we need to go to Blight Town. Which means we need the Rusted Iron Ring. Um, yeah, the Wolf Ring is, is helpful. What's my poise at, actually? I'm curious. Like 80 something? 86 poise. 210 item discovery. Really need that poison resistance to go up. There's not much I can do about it right now. I do have poison resist armor, but it's not heavy. And I need, what, four more endurance ish? So when we get 10,000 souls, we need to come back to the Pyromancer. 10,000 souls is not that hard to come by. But. 
Even so. So, uh... Where are we going? I... Don't need to go... No, I do. Uh, Havel. Right. I forgot about Havel. Faster, probably, just to go this way. To get to Havel. Want to kill Havel. Oh, someone's fighting this guy. <laughs> we will need to revisit Undeadberg at some point to kill the merchant that's there. So he can pick up his Uchi Katana. But other than the Uchi Katana, I don't think there's anything left I need to get from him. Actually, I might have already purchased everything from him, come to think of it. Maybe. Maybe not. I also need to kill the Hydra. You can see how much I'm, like, postponing Blight Town. <laughs> we need to fight the Hydra, we need to go kill Havel. Guys that are, like, way stronger than Blight Town itself, I would much rather fight than go to Blight Town. And it's not that Blight Town's a bad place, but it's... It's a very well-designed place that is very frustrating to play. Tee hee. Do you have anything to say? Ah, what weapons have you brought? Green Titanite Shard to make it magic. What do you have to say? Big hand. Big hand. Of course I've heard it. Who hasn't in Vinod? He was a royal member of Dragon School until he turned undead. I hear he was quite the character. Only that was a hundred years ago. What interest have you in the old eccentric now? Well, I saved a mage and he has interest in him. I'd like to meet old Big Hat if he's so powerful with magic. Sorcery? Don't ask me how it actually works. We only fiddle and forge until it works itself in. That's how we do it in Vinheim. We prefer to leave the theorizing to those uppity scholars. Fair enough. There's nothing to talk about. Okay. Do I want to buy anything from you? Right, you have soul arrows. At some point, I want to pick those up Come as well. But... A lot of this stuff that I'm buying with souls is just like extra stuff that's not necessary. I feel like I missed what I was trying to go come here to do. There should be. Oh, I know what I'm thinking of. Crap. This is the wrong way. <laughs> I could get to... Uh, where am I going? I could get to Havel from there in the Darkroot Gardens, but no, it would actually be faster to go up. I'm sorry. I've, I'm wasting your guys' time here. Oh, am I going the wrong way? Map's all confused in my head. That's okay. We got some new dialogue options, so that's cool. More lore about Big Hat. Alright. You ip. We need to go up, and then we need to go up, and we need to go through Upper Undeadburg. order to get to the Dark Root Basin. It's wonderful how all these places are connected and how central Firelink Shrine really is. Such a great spot to get your Estus back. Okay. Dark Root Basin. That was just about perfect. Landing right on it. Can't help anyone with the Bell Gargoyles. I'm way too high level for that. 35. Yeah, no one's going to be 25 with the Bell Gargoyles. I could help people with Undeadburg. Lower Undeadburg. And the Depths definitely could be helpful. The Depths. Especially because I'm a Pyromancer. But I don't think we'll be doing too much help right now. Not too much aid. Oh, 
Oh. Shop. All the soldier waste cloth. How worthless. Another waste cloth. Double worthless. Let's go. Skeleton. Not really. I mean, kind of, but no. Imminent happiness. Yes. Definitely imminent happiness. The reason why I have so many Titanite shards is because I actually purchased a lot of them from Andre. Just to be safe. I'm going to use the bonfire at the bottom of Darkroot Basin. It's just faster to use the one at the bottom of Darkroot Basin. Although it does mean I have to walk to the bottom of Darkroot Basin. But that'll be good to kill off Havel. I can try to fight the Hydra. If I take off my armor, I actually stand a decent chance of getting there. Oh, you live! That was weird. Nice. Pick up more of those blooming purple, blooming purple moss clumps. Uh, before we go to, to Blight Town, those are just the most necessary thing when you go to Blight Town. I would argue those blooming purple moss clumps are more important than Estus. Oh, the lag! I think I have issues with water. I think that's where the problems are coming in, is with the water. Oh my goodness. Frames are dropping. You know, I, I didn't have these problems before I put on DS Fix. I might just go ahead and take DS Fix off. Move my save files to a safe location, uninstall and reinstall the game so it's just the vanilla version of the game, and go back to that. Because I'm having a lot more issues with DS Fix. I mean, my game crashed, not while I was recording, while I was messing around. But, I mean, the game crashed, uh, it's lagging, I mean... It almost seems like DS Fix made the game worse, at least in my condition, so... I will probably go back to the way it was. When I started this playthrough, I was not using DS Fix. Uh, the past three episodes, I have been. And I am not impressed. It's not doing anything good for me. I, put, I, inst I followed all the instructions on the README, installed it properly. It doesn't work for me, so... Sorry about that. Really no point in... Uh, oh, that was a guy. I was, I was seeing movement. I was like, oh crap! Something attacking me somehow. No, I want armor. What am I doing? I want armor, waist cloth. There we go. And you know what? Actually... Okay, I do have the Rusted Iron Ring on. I was going to say, actually, I can use the Rusted Iron Ring here uh, for the Hydra fight as well. I'm going to want my armor until I go to Havel. Then I want to take my armor off because he does more damage than I can take. <laughs> Even with my armor, I think his Dragon Tooth would crush me. Wary of sniper. I mean, you could be a sniper. I did. The Hydra is, in a way, a sniper, I suppose. I prefer to think of it as a Hydra that shoots giant water blasts for no apparent reason. Okay, am I safe? Not drawing any attention. Whoop, don't want to fall off that. If you really want to, you can fight Havel from behind this door. See, he's right there. You can hit him, but he can also hit you. See? Uh, 
You know, let's start it with armor on just to see if armor is actually worth it here. Watchtower basement key. What's up? My shield can take it. I have enough endurance. That's good. I can block his attacks. Boom! That's a, that's a decent amount. It's not a ton. Let's get away from that wall, shall we? Away from the wall. Thank you. Whoop! That's exactly what I wanted you to do, sir. Do what a fireball does. He dodged it. Fireball. Fireball does good things, but it's more efficient to backstab. Boom! Havel's not that hard to fight once you know that he really can't defend himself. Come on. There you go. Fat rolling it. Backstab. 99 damage. I need that one more strength. I really want the Black Knight Sword. That would be amazing. Oh my goodness. That's my like end goal right now, is to get that Black Knight Sword. Before I buy the Pyromancies, before I buy the magic, Black Knight Sword. Yep. That was close. I actually don't know if you can parry Havel. I imagine you can. But it boy, if you mess up, you're gonna be hurting. Uh oh. I'll take that. Oh, that didn't work. What? Having that really high stability is why I can take his shots. Oh, and not right off my guard broken. Unless I do that and don't have enough endurance to block his shot. Then I'm dead. So that's what I thought. My armor's worthless against Havel. This way, I, don't, I can't remember which way I want to go. This is where I want to go. Okay. That's okay. We're all right. Now I know. Now I can dodge if I am in that situation again. Because a fat roll is not really going to be a, an efficient dodging method. But this is not bad. I'm quick. I can get in some good backstabs. I have a shield that is more than good enough to block. And really no point in equipping any other rings, because they don't apply here. Miss me! You tried. I tried. You tried. I need to get my stamina back before I do anything else. Whoa! Camera. Okay, you're just being dumb. Quit being dumb! Thank you! Still getting some of those frame drops. Oh, jeez. Part of that might be because of how big this uh, file's getting for recording. Gonna have to cut it here very soon. We're reaching like 10 gigabytes for this video file today. A little high. There we go. Besides, it's like 6:30. I should probably eat food. All right, let's just back you up, back you up. All right. Die!
Have at thee. Come on then. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? There we go. Block. Swing. And block. Man, I can't get around him. Come on. Oh, failure. Backstabs. Got him. Finally. Took forever to get that backstab. Ah! There we go. Another backstab. Perfect. That was a risky one, but I got it. That was bad. He did not punish me, thank goodness. Yeah! What, one more maybe? The Dragon's Tooth is actually a very good weapon. There we go. Finally. Thank you for your ring. Actually, keep that stuff off. We're gonna go kill a Hydra. We're gonna try to kill a Hydra. Okay, we got the night stuff. Whoa! They're not dead yet. Trying to get the Hydra to kill these guys. Whoa! There we go. Good job, Hydra. All right. The Hydra fight is really easy. Don't fall off that ledge. Block. Okay, he comes in. Hit his head when he comes in. And says, have your guard up. Don't lock on. Never lock on against the Hydra. Whoa! There's the block. That was good. Whoa! Holy cheese nips! Let's see if I can get the Hydra to shoot at him. Oh, and I killed myself. I killed myself because I wasn't moving. I needed to be moving. Oh. Oh well. Whatever, we're fine. We can just go back up there. But the Hydra fight's really easy. Um. Really kind of want my humanity. If I'm going to kill the Hydra. I know the Hydras are, are. They're capable of dropping dragon scales. I don't know if this one will always drop one or not. But I would like my humanity before I actually do anything. Okay, this rusted iron ring helps for movement. The poise, that's like the only poise I have. If I do this, how fast do I move with Havel's ring on? Pretty decently quickly. So let's try it this way. So that I will at least have some protection. I doubt it'll be good enough. Uh, but if it is, you know, if I'm left with like one HP, awesome. You know, that's exactly what I need. Oh, 
it, it helped. It worked. Crap. Go, 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 go. Get it, get it, get it. I got it. Oh, and I, I ran into it. I jumped into it. Oh, man, he just kept shooting on me. Uh, he'll basically shoot right at the water's edge where it hits the, uh, the shore. That's what that's called. The land thing. The dirt. So it appears the armor does save me from at least one full barrage. So I'll go ahead and keep the armor on with Havel's ring. The extra poise is not necessary. Uh, but if I can get next to the water again, I will be safe to even fight the crystal guys in melee right in front of the Hydra. Uh, within reason. So you notice I always start up here. Uh, the easiest consistent way I've found to get to the Hydra is to start up here, run down past this guy, you want to aim to hide behind this tree. And then dart down. Retrieval. Whoa! It's close. Yep, he's dead. Okay, that's the water's the edge. Uh, the cliff face. Okay, I want to find a better place to fight. So, like, right here is a much better place to fight. There is a crystal guy left. And he'll be coming. He is coming. Okay. Walk. Don't let the Hydra's heads pull you in. They will. Is he dead? He is not. Oh, don't fall off the edge. Don't fall off the edge. Whoa. Three, four hits, four solid hits. Come on then, block, uh oh. I can't block magic very well. Ah, the Hydra hit me. Got him. That was getting really risky really fast. Okay, let's get this heal up right now just to be on the safe side. One. Oh, and I got one of his heads. Makes the fight a little bit easier. One, two. One, two. Nice, I got another head. This is not the Hydra from Hercules, so it's not going to regrow its heads. 
You missed. Good job. One. Oh, another head down. Delicious. Thank you. You missed. Congratulations. Ah. Uh. Oh, and I'm missing all over the place, just like you are. Well, I did some damage. I got two hits in. Here we go. Oh, all the misses. Another head bites the dust. Yeah, okay, that's not going to be a good spot to fight him. This works, though. Nice, another head down. The Hydra either dies when he runs out of health or when you knock off all his heads. One. Hey, one more head gone. There is one head left. The Hydra will be dead. And the frames are dropping like mad. Yeah, it's definitely the water. Hey, careful, careful. You're not being very nice. Please put yourself in a better position for me to hit you. Not being very nice at all. They keep going around. Will there be a spot that works for you? We'd have to shoot you to death. There's a spot. Kinda. Come on! Yeah, okay, I get I did one. One shot. Go two. That was close. I got his hail. I got his his heads. Dust crown ring and dragon scale. So the Hydra is dead. The dusk crown ring. Extra sorcery castings. But it costs you half your health if you want more sorceries. And another dragon scale, which we can use to upgrade dragon weapons. And do one last thing before I uh, before I end this episode. One last little itty bitty thing. I'm gonna go right here, and then I'm gonna quit out. And we're going to reload the game now. The Hydra is dead. And when we reload, there will be a golden crystal golem that we will need to kill. That will unlock Dusk of Ulasil for us to use so that I can buy sorceries and actually some stuff that I really want to pick up from her. Uh, one specific sorcery is cast lights. There's a little light above your head. There's the golden crystal golem. It spawns after the Hydra dies. It's just basically a standard crystal golem. 
They're, it's just gold. It is a little bit different. The magic it uses and its attacks are a little different. Man, it's just lagging like no other right now. Whoa! I really think it's it's the a combination of the water and okay this this is magic and it's a lot weaker. Um, oh. the combination of the water and of really. I have to do this again. Um, and if the fact that I'm now reaching ten and a half gigabytes on my file size, and that's probably slowing down my computer because it's trying to, to process all that. All right, we'll go kill the golden crystal golem. Along with the other crystal golems that have now respawned. And then once we kill the golden crystal golem, that will be the end of this episode because it's quite obviously starting to slow everything down. Uh, the file is getting too big. I've been recording for many hours. You crystal, go crystal golem. Oh. See, that magic is a lot stronger with the blue ones. Nope. Fuck it. I'm just gonna run through them. I can come kill them later. I don't want to lose my 10 humanity by fighting three crystal golems at once. That's not something I can handle right now. Not strong enough. I can outrun them on the water, though. If you don't have the rusted iron ring, you can run along right along here. Ah, don't jump. You can run right along here, and occasionally you keep getting up on the, the dirt, and you'll just run a little bit faster just by staying right along that wall. Alright, come on then. Dodge! There you are. Whoa! Poke. 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 Yeah, that was bad. Oh, I got lucky. Oh my goodness, the frames are dropping. Frames are dropping. What are you doing? I need you to not do that. I need you to use your little magic. Can you do that for me? Can you use your magic? Or are you going to force me to use my Estus? That works, I'll take it. Oh, and the frames are dropping! Ah! <laughs> Makes the game even harder to play. Whoa! Come on. can poke away at you. Uh-oh. Good enough. 
That was quite silly, sir. Ah, Jumping away like that. Ah! Whoop! Block. Now you use your magic, and I don't want you to use your magic. No magic, sir. Please, no. That's a big one. No problem. Alright. Hope. If you're gonna use magic, I'm gonna use magic. Although Pyromancy does seem to be in a different league than magic. Whoop. And clean kill. Finally. Hello. So, does thou have rescued me? Yes. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulysseel. I cometh from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseel is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? It would be of great assistance to me. My heartfelt thanks. I am pleased beyond words. Then I shout, engrave my signature. If thou art in need, pray summon me from my signature. It seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. Alright, we have Dusk of Ulysseel. Now we're going to go talk to Dusk. And buy her catalyst, which is, I believe, one of the best catalysts in the game. I could be wrong. First, these golems probably need to die. These stupid golems will probably get in the way. God, I am so noisy. There are four golems. Uh huh. Whoop. One, two, three. One, two, block. I want to talk to Dusk, dang it, you guys are getting in my way. Fire is more effective on these guys than it is on the golden golem. God, that tree scared me. I thought it was another golem. That would have been like the worst case scenario. A third golem. Okay, you guys are dead. Oh, blue titanite chunk. Sweet. Okay. Those guys are way over there. Whether you're human or not, you can always summon Dusk. What's up? I am Dusk of Ulysseel. It is an honor to see thee again. I shall follow thy wishes. Proper bow. 
time, I was trapped within the crystal golem. From my home, I was taken and banished to a plane of distortion. It was there that thou came to my rescue, long after I had relinquished all hope. So gleeful was I. My faith reneweth. Glad I could help. The sorceries of Ulysil differ from the magic of thine age. It is difficult to explain. Ulysil's sorceries are, what doth one say? <laughs> They're somewhat of an approximation. Thine sorceries are more straightforward, negating all but thyself. Dost thou not find some fascination in these discrepancies? It is a little different, for sure. The sorcery. Alright, so these are amazing. I've used Hidden Body and Cast Light I don't know how many times. Uh, catalyst is awesome. Buy the Catalyst, buy Hidden Body and Cast Light. 7,000 more. I mean, I could buy all this stuff. I may as well pick up both of these. Can't get repair. Use magic to repair instead of um, instead of souls. The sorceries of the All right, we'll see you later, Dusk. Thank you for all your stuff. And that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. I'm just gonna run past these golems. So as always. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. And there's really not much left other than to go to Blight Town. I don't know how much more I can put that off. <laughs> uh, well, I'll see how much more I can put it off in the next episode. So see you guys then.